So there's another quick video about Virtual DJ 2025 and searching, and specifically about wildcard searching, because I've already done another video a while back about general searching, and I'll link that in the video description. So this is about wildcard searching. Um, just to go back a little bit, like you probably know, you can decide which part to search when you search. So when you click on this little menu, you can set what you want to search. So that goes for where you want to search it. So right now it's set up to local files and uh, current folder, both of them. So that's basically all the local files. And I've disabled the online searches and also doesn't matter which online searches I've enabled because I've generally disabled online catalogs. Uh, so the only search the local files, which is good because that's the ones that work best with wildcard search, in my opinion. And then on top of that, I've only enabled title and artist. So that's the only ones that'll be searched. And like I said, only for the local tracks. So let's try to do some searching. So I put in, I want to look for Ed Sheeran. So I'll put in she for Sheeran. Then I get uh, some Ed Sheeran results. But I also get tons of other results, like she said here. And beginning of Sheena Eastern, because it doesn't have to be a full word, which also was the case with Sharon, right? She, just part of it. So I got all tons of track, uh, tons of results here. So I might want to do a little bit more. So I'll put in Ed. So that, of course, kicked me Ed Sharon, but it also gets me this tattoo track, because it has she all the way over here, and then it has ED from Edit, which for some reason is part of the title in this track. So uh, that's a, a funny match that I may not want. So to get a real match instead of just a whatever match uh, based on these seen as parts of the text anywhere, I can do an exact search. I put in like this by putting in quotes, then I only get something that's ED space HHE. It doesn't have to be the full word, because it's basically just ends here, but it has to be in this order. So now I only get Ed Sheeran stuff right here. Um, but if I go down here, you can see it doesn't have to be in the artist name. It can still be in the title, like here, because it's featuring Ed Sheeran, right? But that also means that um, if I skip this around, so I put in it like this, she, Ed, then I get nothing because it has to be part of the real string. It's an and, it has to match, the full thing has to match, if you will, exact match. So all this was also in the old video, so I just put a little bit of a lead in. So now we get to a real thing, the wildcards. So what are wildcards? Well, it's actually just uh, characters that represent something else. So in Visual DD, we have two. We have the question mark and we have the asterisk. And the question mark uh, represents one single letter uh, or character, and the, the asterisks represent any number of letters. So let's try doing some of that. So in, if I put in Sheena, like this, then I only get Sheena Eastern tracks, right? Because that's the Sheena. But then I try to uh, replace the M with a question mark, and then I also get Ed Sheeran. Well, that's another length. Why does that work? Well, it's because it doesn't really care about the N. That's after the search, if you will. So it's just because the R actually matches the question mark. So you get S-H-E-E, -E, question mark A. That's the per first section of Sharon, right? So that works. So now I have at Sharon back. But then, of course, if I move this one letter, so I go she, uh, and then the, uh, the N from Sheena, then I only have Sheena Eastern again, because it no longer matches any part of Ed Sheeran. So that's when I have the, the question mark, that's just for one. And of course, if I then put in another letter, uh, another question mark, then I get Sheeran back, because uh, then it matches again. So like this, now I have uh, Sheeran back, and I still have Ed uh, this Ed Sheena Eastern, and I also have she said, because that's H-A-E space S, which are now the question marks, and then an A. So a totally different one by plan B. Uh, so you get a little bit of crazy stuff. And please note, one of these letters is space, so that also works with the question mark. It doesn't mean to be a real letter, it can also be the space. 
So that's wildcard with just the question mark re uh, replacing one single letter. Like that. And then, of course, there was the asterisks. So let's try using that instead. So instead of these two, like I said, the asterisk can represent any number of letters. So I put in uh, an asterisk instead of the two of them. And I get a Sharon back. And I get Sheena Easton back. So that's that's cool. That's nice. But now I also got Stray Cats. And why is that? Well, that's actually because it has she here. And it has the A in and way later in the, later in the search, right? But because this... Asterix represent any number of letters, that'll still be a match, so that'll still show up in the results. And of course then, if I only want to look for these, then I can put in the, the N, then I still get Ed Sheeran, because it's still match, but I can also put in the D, and then I only get straight catch, she's sexy, and 17, because the she part is here, and the N part is here. And then I get a brand new one, the David Bowie one, because the she pass is she part is passed part of unwatched, and then I have the and pass part as a as an entire word here. So that also matches this thing. And uh, uh, like I said, this also works with pages. You saw that with with um, with the question mark right before, but it also works for this thing. So if I put in entire it's sharing. Like this, then I can just have it represent the space and the S, and I'll still get it. And no matter no matter how many letters I remove, including uh, the space, it'll still work, right? Because it's all the letters it want and including space. So this was just a little bit bit about wildcard searching in Visual DJ, and I find that pretty helpful. But um, when I get too many results, I can narrow it down a little bit by uh, uh, using f the quotes that I showed in the beginning to get an exact matches, and then also these little weird um, wildcards, so I can like, basically search anywhere uh, in, the, in the string. Um, uh, also, if I have put in something that's not part of the search string, so it can be really helpful when looking for something in a search.